pandemic for Linda Tieti to find time to launch Storina, her desire to help people capture as many real life stories as possible. Here's how this local startup is supporting people in their quest to save their family's history through storytelling and up with her. Linda Tietje came to the U.S. from Germany to be with her husband 15 years ago. It's been much longer than I thought. Um. <laughs> Living away from family is an ideal, but distance reminds her about the importance of sharing her heritage at home with her kids. I want them to know where their family is from and what that culture is like and what we as a, as a country have learned. Tietje's grandmother grew up in Nazi Germany. She had to flee the east side before the borders were closed. There's a lot of pain, but also a lot of perseverance and a, a lot of lessons um, that she could have passed on. And I think she just didn't really, we talked to her about it and she just didn't know how to go about it. She didn't feel comfortable for me to interview and record what she was telling me. With her grandmother gone, Pichu is left with only bits and pieces. And when I realized that we had lost that story is when I really first thought there's got to be a better way to help people capture those um, memories and those lessons learned. The pandemic's pause and her own brief illness spurred Ticha to create Starina. I want them to hear my voice. I want them to hear my perspective, even if I'm no longer there. Starina is a video-based platform guiding people through tutorials to share their story, coupled with goals, easy to follow assignments and help editing. Not good with words, no problem. The intention is not for us to help you to publish and be a best-selling author. Imperfections, I think, is what makes this so valuable later. I can hire a ghostwriter and they can put together this perfect story, but I won't be able to hear my mom's voice the same way. That's the beauty of those stories, that they're not perfect, because we are not perfect. Starina launched last August. I've got to give teacher props for thinking outside the box, like using LinkedIn to advertise. Try to get the word out. I think that's probably the biggest challenge for us as a bootstrap small business to just let people know about it. We're still, you know, growing and learning, talking to people, adjusting so that we can really offer to them what, what they really need. What everyone needs, is to be heard. The story really matters because I think that is always the big question. Does it, do I have to have this outrageous life in order to write it down? And I think you don't, um, but I think a lot of people need to know that somebody cares to hear it. Start early. Don't wait until you're older. If the last year has taught us anything, time isn't guaranteed. It's always good to, to reflect, to pause, and then use that as a way to, uh, you know, plan your next, your next chapter. And we've definitely had plenty of time for reflection. Storina recently added magic moments to their platform. So it's a smaller project for people to write down maybe five to 12 individual moments in a book that you'd like to reflect on if the other idea overwhelms you. Um, but they are opening up their online writing platform for free of charge through March of 2021 because they know people are separated right now. And this is a great way to take the opportunity to tell your story. So they're waiving that monthly subscription fee. Thank you to Linda for sharing her story. I hope many of you can find a way to share yours.